Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 17 of my Create This Book series by me and Mariah Elizabeth. I have three more prompts I'm going to be doing today. Before I begin, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's see what we can create in this book for today's prompts. Opening up to the first prompt of the day, which is to create a person. So I'm going to refer back to this little thing I saw on Instagram, which is this. Make a fairy OC based off yourself. If you're born in these months, you're going to be evil. And if you're born in these months, you're going to be good. If your eyes are blue, you're going to give them dragonfly wings. If your eyes are brown or black, you're going to give them butterfly wings. If your eyes are green or gray, you're going to give them bee wings. And if you have hazel eyes or other colors, they're going to be moth wings. If you have any piercings, you're going to give your character pointy ears. If you have any tattoos, give them antlers. And if you have any freckles or moles, you're going to give them a crown or a hat. If you're the youngest child, you're going to give them a wand. If you're a middle child, you're going to have a sword. And if you're the oldest, you're going to have a lantern. If you have a cat or a dog, you can give them a pet of some sort. And if you have an exotic pet, you can give them a potion. And lastly, if you're short, give them a mushroom dress. If you're about average height, give them a flower dress. And if you're quite tall, give them a butterfly dress. Now let's see that lovely fairy. So based off of that video, I'm going to create an original fairy character based off of details about me. So I'm born in September, so that means I'm going to be a good fairy. My eyes are blue, so I'm going to have dragonfly wings. I do have piercings, tattoos, and freckles, so I'm going to have pointy ears, antlers, and a crown, so a lot on my head. I am the middle child, so I'm going to have a sword. I do have cats, so I do get a pet, and I'm just average height, I'm 5'6", so I'm going to be giving her a flower dress. So now I can finally start sketching. As you can see, I had to write all of those details down. I didn't want to forget anything as I was sketching, and it was definitely a lot to remember, but I was super excited about this because I felt like she was going to be a very full character with a lot of details and a lot of life. So this this was very fun to try and imagine up and try to figure out how to incorporate all of these different aspects and details of this character. And the little challenge that I found was a super fun way to push myself outside of my comfort zone just a little bit. I still get to design the character, but now I have to fit in all of these different things about her into one picture and figure out how that will work. So once I had a sketch that I liked, at first I really didn't like it, but I stared at it long enough that it started to grow on me. So I decided to go ahead and go with this sketch and try try to see what would come about from it. So now I'm going ahead and just outlining everything with my Ohuhu outliner, just going ahead and making sure all of the lines are detailed. I picked a smaller outline than I usually would. I just wanted everything to be super neat and light. So that's what I'm doing here, just going ahead and outlining everything and even adding in a couple of details here and there to just push it that extra little bit further and make it look super cool and detailed. The dragonfly wings were definitely the hardest part to get right. They're very detailed, but very different than butterfly wings. So I've had very little experience doing any dragonfly wings at all. So I tried really hard to look at a reference and draw it according to the pattern of all the veins that they have in there and try to make it look super like dragonfly wings and not so much like butterfly wings. I was trying to be very intentional about following that part of the prompt because I felt like that was very important. I decided to add in a couple little more details, adding in some flowers on the dress to Really make sure it looked like a flower dress and then of course I had to add in my pet so for the pet I do have two cats so I wanted to incorporate a cat but I wanted to make it a little bit different so I gave it cute little wings as well I don't think those wings could actually carry this cat however it does have cute little baby fairy wings and it is flying in the drawings so I guess it works out for this cat but anyway once I was done with the outline now I can bring in my ohuhu markers to color everything in of course I'm bringing these in to color them you know that I love these and now I'm going ahead and starting off with the eye color and then the dragonfly wings I decided to make them blue since I did get dragonfly wings based off of the color of my eyes so that's what I'm going with here and I was super intentional about shading them really well and trying to add in a lot of depth and dimension and make it look like light was going through them since this fairy character is based off of me I wanted to give her similar features and attributes as me so I'm also giving her blonde hair as well to just really make her look a little bit like me I mean very very vaguely obviously but anyway then I went ahead in with some yellow just to brighten the hair up a little bit more and I'm going ahead in and coloring in the skin color which is so much fun I love doing this part because I love adding a different shading and blush it makes the drawing really come to life and just gives it a whole new look look at this difference that this pink adds everywhere it's just so cute it makes the whole drawing look completely different I decided to give her a little bit of bright pink makeup just to break everything up and then it was time for the outfit 
outfit, which I decided I was going to do an all blue kind of themed outfit design, but then I somehow ended up using pink on the drawing, so don't ask me how that happened. I don't know. I had a plan, but I think I just got so excited about the pink on the face and the makeup that I just kind of took it everywhere else and just decided that pink would be the way to go for the entire thing. So that's what I'm doing here, just using a whole bunch of different pinks to design the entire outfit and really make it pop and make it fun. I decided to add in the crown, but like a little crown on the forehead. That way I didn't have so much going on at the top of the head. And then it was time to color in the sword, which was the hardest part to incorporate. I also decided to color in the cat, but I decided to make it green just to be a little bit different. I thought the green was a little bright, so I toned it down with some blue. And then it was time to go in with those extra special gel pen details to really make this entire thing pop because you know I love the gel pen and I just felt like a gold gel pen on a fairy would just make it look extra magical and special. So that's what I did. Added in some white gel pen as well just to really amp up the details and then I felt like this one needed a background. I don't usually do backgrounds on my art because it's really hard for me to come up with ideas but I just felt like a simple purple background would really help her to pop off of the page and then I added some green on the cat. I also decided to round the corners just to really finish this drawing off and here's how it turned out and I especially love the sparkle details but I love how detailed and full this entire drawing is. I put it into the book and then I decided to write a couple of things about her personality and her character. I decided that her name would be Italia and that she was kind and that she stands for good and that her cat can fly but otherwise is just a cat and I also decided to name the cat Avocado because it's green and it's little and I felt like that would be a fitting name. So here she is and here's some facts about her but I really love how this turned out and I think it was such a fun little prompt to follow and a fun video that I found to make this character come to life. But here she is and now it's time for the next prompt which is to create smudges. So I'm supposed to put things on my hand like paint, pens, markers, whatever and create smudges all over this page. So I did a little test here and I figured out the pens will smudge. So now I'm pouring paint directly onto my hand and just putting it all over just kind of chaotically onto the page and this was actually kind of fun and I actually enjoyed it more than I thought that I would so then I just slapped paint all around and smeared it all over the page and it definitely smeared and smudged which I was very impressed with I decided to add in this kind of metallic blue as well and this really sealed the deal I felt like it was looking like Barbie Swan Lake here for a minute there and I really liked that and then I decided to add in a whole bunch of gold smudges as well using this pen and just smudging it with my fingers and I felt like some silver would brighten it up a bit so I decided to add that in as well and it really did come to life and I actually love how it turned out my hand got messy but it turned out really cool and I love the glisten of that special paint there and now it is time for the next prompt which is to create an interview so I'm not usually a big fan of these prompts because I don't like writing I like drawing I don't want to do this part but I did have fun asking my husband a couple of interview questions so my first First question for him was what is your favorite scent and then it was time for the next question which is what is your favorite board game it was actually really hard to come up with questions my brain is not that creative but I tried really hard to come up with some good questions I asked if he'd rather stay in or go out what's the weirdest thing he's ever eaten and finally I asked what is your least favorite holiday which I felt like was an interesting question and here he is now answering all of my questions he left a little Star Wars joke in there for you but he likes lemon and muscafar anakin which is just a sick joke then he also put that his favorite board game is dragon harvest which is actually a game that we created and made together which i'm going to be sharing on here very soon for the next question he said he's not sure but he'd rather stay in the weirdest thing was squirrel and for his least favorite holiday he put labor day which is like fair enough if you have to pick a least favorite that's a pretty good least favorite to choose and then i asked him if he would ask me some questions so he came up with some fun questions that i need to answer such as what is my least favorite mammal what is my favorite season how long can I hold my breath and what year did Shrek 2 come out which I did not know e the answer to either of those questions but anyway then it was my turn to answer his questions so I put that my least favorite mammal is a platypus which don't come after me it was just a quick brain thought they're just kind of weird that's all my favorite season is probably spring I couldn't come up with a worse movie I tried to hold my breath but on command I could only do it for 10 to 15 seconds so that is definitely a major weakness and apparently Shrek came out in 2004 but I
but I thought it was way later than that. But this was actually a lot of fun to ask some interview questions of one another, and then I put them into the book, and then this is how it turned out. I think it's a super simple page, but let's go back to the first prompt, which was to create a person. So I used a little fairy challenge that I found on Instagram to create this fairy person that was based off of personality traits and characteristics about myself, which was a lot of fun to do. The next page was to create smudges, which I used paint and pens to create this beautiful metallic mess and create paint smudges all over this page, which actually was really fun. And then the last prompt of the day was to create an interview, which aren't my favorite type of prompts, but I actually had a lot of fun asking these fun and silly questions and getting to know my husband a little bit more. My question for you is which was your favorite prompt from today? Mine was definitely this one. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!